but I, I do think we'll be able to use an electric car as a family. I am buying my first electric car. It's about time I had a milk float on the channel. A more inclusive vegan Jeff buys cars. A gigantic ox tail. We'll edit that out. 1.396 kilos. It's big, isn't it? It is big. Well, good afternoon. I know you all hate it when I film from this angle and I film my grotty steering wheel, but I'm on a bit of an adventure today. Time is um, 20 to two. I've already this morning uh, filmed a video and then I had Tony from EV Carnage, was in my neck of the woods, so I just picked him up, dropped him to his location. Well, I didn't actually. We made a really long video and then he missed his train. What a knob. Um, why do you need to feel the need to do that from a traffic light and then now you're just stuck up there? What car was it? Oh, it was a Skyline. No, they're not called Skylines anymore, are they? They're just called GTRs. There's a Nissan GTR. Um, anyway, yeah, so Tony came up. Uh, we made a really funny video that is quite long, chatting about £2,000 cars. And now I've dropped Tony in Cheltenham because he missed his train. I'm off to buy some milk and a milk float long introduction but i am actually buying some milk and an electric car today i am buying my first electric car so join me to see some really really perfectly normal absolutely nothing going on skies as we drive from cheltenham to redditch driving along with the camera filming the skies, but the best skies are behind me and at both sides. So I'm gonna loop off at junction six, go round the roundabout so you can see the state of the skies all around me. Basically the bits that we're missing, here we go. There we go, as you can see, all the really good skies are going on over that way, in front of the sun, basically. Um, but isn't it weird that I said I was gonna document the skies for you, and then the gods of the universe gave me green lights up every single traffic light on that roundabout. When does that ever happen? Anyway, back to the journey. the motorway leg of the journey done m5 and m42 and as you can see these skies are perfectly normal there's actually an electric fiat in front of me i'm gonna flip the camera around now so you can see the sky as we go towards the sun because oddly enough there's nothing on the other side the sun is over there but there's no lines or clouds or anything over there but i'll flip the camera so you can see that as we go to well i'll tell you where we're going when i flip the camera we are off to a farm called Carpenters Hill Farm, which is the home of a small company called Straight From The Cow. And as you can guess from the name of the company, you can buy milk straight from the cow, which means it is literally coming straight from the cow. There is no pasteurization, there is no heat treatment, there is no nothing. It is how you say raw milk, which is very good for you. I've done a video on raw milk and um, the exploits of Louis Pasteur who invented pasteurization of milk and it's one of my early videos where I explain stuff in the car so I don't think it's one of my best videos ever however I will put a link here if you'd like to learn about the health benefits of drinking raw milk and I can highly recommend Carpenters Hill Farm aka straight from the cow if you want to buy some and if you do go there tell them Jeff sent you you won't get any discount or anything, but 
I just feel like it's nice for them to know that my little YouTube video got them some customers. Yeah, I like that. Definitely a nice day to be driving a stand. Right, I've got the milk on the wife's destruction and also gone for a gigantic oxtail. Uh, that weighs 1.396 kilos and I'll make a stew out of that. I've never cooked with oxtail before, but look at that. Doesn't that just look ridiculous? So we'll have that today. Thank you very much. Yeah, perfectly normal skies today. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's go, we've got a 10 minute drive to get to my milk float. Um, I have just reached a stage with my YouTube journey where I figured it's about time I had a milk float on the channel, isn't it? Electric cars are all the rage and we could probably use it. I could find a way to use it. I'm, I'm not completely sure. <laughs> that hill I just drove up. Could do that in the other car. Could only do that in the X5. Um, I, I don't know about charging it at home, but I, I do think we'll be able to use an electric car as a family. And as I said, I've decided to start being nice to Tesla and Land Rover. And maybe part of that, I have booked a test drive of a Tesla, and I'm going to book a test drive of a Range Rover as well. So this, um, this new Jeff, vegan Jeff we'll call him, um, is going to be a different sort of style for the YouTube channel to bring uh, positivity and light to the world of Jaguar Land Rover and electric car owners worldwide. A more inclusive vegan Jeff buys cars. We'll edit that out. It's big, isn't it? It is big. So let's go and fetch the, I'll transfer all the stuff in this car and we'll put that into the EV and then I'll come back on the train um, probably tomorrow and pick up the X5. But the gentleman I'm buying this from says that um, it's got plenty of range and it's quite fast. So, I mean, it's cheap for a milk float. It, it is cheap. I appreciate that I am on the lower end of the electric vehicle budget. Oh, Jaguar XF with red brake calipers. That look really good. So I am shopping at the lower end of the EV budget. I appreciate that. Um, I can't yet afford a Tesla, but the electrical vehicle that I'm buying, they have dropped down to well beneath a sensible person's car budget. And as a car channel, I feel like I'll be able to give you some really, really good consumer advice with my EV. And I intend to use it. I do intend to use it a lot um, for all the sort of things that milk floaters use electrical vehicles for, like going to the shops and going to service stations and dog. No, not going to say it. I am not the Mac master get myself a beige pair of trousers as well. What else does it say? A sweater, a v-neck sweater I reckon, and a jigsaw to do while I'm charging it. I'm going to use this car tomorrow. 
I'm going to use this car and I'm going to make a video to show you all that owning an EV doesn't have to be as hard as the MacMaster makes out. I'm going to call him out for all his anti-EV bull for faking all of those journeys that he did with Jeff buys cars. Vegan Jeff. Jeff turns over a new leaf gently in a way that doesn't harm the leaf. Right, apparently we're here and I need my phone now to find the address exactly. So, um, actually I know exactly which house this will be because it'll be the house with a Land Rover on the drive. Here it comes, look, there it is. Whee! Look at that. It's a Defender, an electric Defender. Wow. Yeah, have a go. yeah, I'll have a go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my first, <laughs> the first ever electric car that I've ever bought. I'm going to give it a little go. I'm going to put the mount on there, look. So you say the bonnet was made out of actual... The whole of it, the whole of it, all the whole, metal It's all been made out of a Defender. The Defender bonnet. That's amazing. So I'm also buying my first proper <laughs> Land So it's on and I can control the gas. Uh, I almost get on that seat. Yeah, you might not. No, just, yeah. Right one's forward, the left one's reverse. All right, cool. Hey! Oh, hang on, it stopped. Why has it stopped? Something, we've lost acceleration. What's going on there? Hold on. Got reverse? Weird, I don't know. Oh, it's broken already. You can't make it up, can you? I jump in an electric car and the battery immediately dies. We took it back into uh, Paul's garage and uh, plugged it in. And sure enough, just that the battery was a bit dead. So, thankfully, I don't need to leave my BMW X5 here and get the train home because my electric car fits in my real car, which is absolutely brilliant. That's a much more practical way of doing it, isn't it? for all you EV drivers out there that don't have the range to go anywhere. Just have a real car, and then when you run out, you can put your EV in your real car and away you go. Thank you very much for watching this little video. I've no idea how I will end up editing this one, but it was fun to make and really, I just wanted to show you those skies. Right, that's gonna have a little bit of a makeover in the coming days and weeks. And um, my kids are gonna, oof. If it doesn't break the back of the car. I try not to break too heavily on the way home. My kids are gonna absolutely love that. It's a Facebook Marketplace special from Jeff Buys Cars. Thanks for watching. All right, the one slight problem, these electric cars, they're dangerous. Um, do you remember those adverts for when the child was sat in the back without his seatbelt on? And it was like, Susan knew her killer because she slams into the car in front and then the kid jumps from the back seat and basically kills her from behind. It's pretty much exactly what happens every time I hit the brakes. And then we could have a headline being YouTuber killed by electric car on first electric car experience. <laughs> we just have to hold it like this when I'm braking. But because I'm driving an automatic car, that's dead easy. Couldn't do this with a manual. Ah, oh, I missed my turn. It's all right, I'm not braking heavily for that one. We'll go around the roundabout and try again. Right, that is the end of the video now. Thanks for watching.